Hello everyone, let me introduce you low power voice enablement on Hydrotemix MPUs. When you start with developing of your application or solution, you may stand in front of decision if you should start with the microcontroller or microprocessor. Generally, with microcontroller, you can achieve lower powers, you have uh, direct access to the peripherals, and it's usually much easier to achieve real-time uh, processing. On the other hand, if you are developing complex application which consists of multiple components, the integration of the components and making everything working together may be more complex task. Also, if you are requiring some kind of codecs or either uh, voice processing or audio codecs, you need to spend some time with porting these codecs to your platform. And of course, you have generally lower computational power available in the case of microcontrollers. On the other hand, for microprocessors, you can benefit from Linux ecosystem, which is available and which has all, the, which has lots of components already prepared for your application. You can benefit also from higher portability of existing apps, and you can develop application for generic uh, Linux devices. And of course, you have higher computational power available usually on the microprocessors. As the drawback for microprocessors, it's harder not it's harder to develop real-time applications, and it's also a little bit harder to get uh, low power applications. If you are facing same dilemma. You can actually benefit from ARM Cortex M core available on some of NXP microcontrollers side to Cortex A. In the low power mode, you have Cortex A suspended and Cortex M is listening for wake word. If you consider typical usage of smart devices, where majority of the time it's just listening and waiting for the wake word or command, you are saving huge amount of power. After wake word is detected, low power domain will wake up Cortex A core with all its power available for main functionality, like for example streaming services or whatever is your high demand application working on. Let's see what is happening in the low power state. Obviously, you need to process the signal from microphones to be able to catch wake word. The input signal is also buffered to be handed over to main application in case of wake word is detected. When Cortex A is operating, Cortex M is passing inputs from microphones and outputs to speaker by RP messages. For applications on Cortex A, this mechanism is covered by ALSA and final application is using standard ALSA devices. This means that all the voice or audio applications or all streaming services are implemented in standard way and not negatively affected by low power architecture. Let's see how it works on evaluation board. We will use Idotemix 8M Plus evaluation kit enabling power measurement. Other components for this demo are 8 microphone array board, HDMI connector, USB debug, USB power and USB mouse connector. For detailed description on how to bring it up, we recommend to follow application node AN13957. You can find it on the NXP web page and it will guide you through required demo setup. All the required software components are already presented in the BSP package, but at the boot time you need to set up proper device tree 
and also image for Cortex M. After these changes, we can continue with demo experience. For monitoring the behavior of demo, you can connect to serial link and monitor both Cortex A and Cortex M parts. Serial link is provided as a virtual serial port connected by USB. Because we have two parts running in our application, we will have two serial connections. One for low power demo app running on Cortex M and one serial link for Cortex A running Linux and later also demo experience application. If we restart the board, we can actually see Linux booting in one of the terminals. And because we already selected proper image for Cortex-M, we can also see low power demo app starting on Cortex-M. Cortex-M application waits for connection to Cortex-A and after it is created, means after Cortex-A proper reboots, it goes to stop mode and is waiting for start of the corresponding application on Cortex-A core. So let's start demo experience and focus on low power demo. You can find it in the multimedia section and voice subsection. To run voice control demo with low power option on Cortex M, you need to select it before starting the app. For better experience, you can see supported commands on the screen and also basic status of the demo. Now you can use voice commands to open different applications. First you say wake word and then following by command from list of supported commands. Hey NXP, run Bloom, wake word and command were correctly detected and selected program is running. We can also close the demo by voice command. Hey NXP, stop demo. Next step can be suspending the demo and see the benefit from the low power. But for this, let's use power measurement tool and see real effect of the different stages of the demo. The details about how to get this tool can be found in the application note mentioned before. We will use this power measurement tool to watch power plots side to running demo. Let's start with opening some app with voice control. Hey NXP, run Bloom. We can see the increased power consumption after running demo app. We can switch the graph to numbers corresponding directly to power in milliwatts consumed by SOC. Side to the graph you can see also average power consumption in milliwatts. Now we will stop the demo again with voice command and we'll see the effect on the power consumption. Hey NXP, stop demo. As expected, the power consumption dropped down, but these numbers are related to running graphical demo and not directly to voice or its low power option. So as the next step, 
we are going to suspend the cortex A core. For this, we will add cortex A and cortex M console to view. Hey NXP, suspend. On the console for Cortex A, you can see that the core was suspended and also demographic user interface is no longer available. And of course, you see corresponding drop in power consumption. The number on the right side is average power consumption, but actual number is visible from the graph. And in this power saving state, we should be able to resume the application by voice command. In this case, it will be detected by Cortex M. Hey NXP! Cortex M detects the wake word, sends the message to Cortex A to exit the suspend mode, and Cortex A application can listen the command following the wake word. Also, changes of the state is clearly visible on the power consumption graph. The specific power numbers you can see on this video are depending on the hardware used and on the software versions. You can achieve even better numbers by applying specific low power patches or optimizations. And what to do next? Visit our web page, download AppNode, and if you have proper hardware, test it by yourself. All the components are already available and free for download.